it feels like Quid is just, I mean, I don't know. Lately, I've been seeing he's on another level. Let's see if Jay Grunt can level up in real time to catch him. You know, this, this is definitely not Wi-Fi. No, no lag here to make a difference. So this is this is true. This is where, where, the, where the boys are made into men as Jay Grunt trying to take it to Quid off stage. I will say that in this matchup, uh, Quid is a player, probably his best Pokemon is his Ivysaur. And yeah. Ivysaur is probably, I mean, against Greninja specifically, will struggle the most. Uh, I, like, like Greninja's movement, overall, his movement stats are kind of absurd. Like a top 10 run speed, fall speed, and also a very decent air speed as well. So, oh. Ooh, trying to get the, trying to get the missed type on this, and unfortunately, in a way to just really, he hasn't even, he really hasn't even need to switch the portal yet. You know, every time, uh, as a commentator, it always happens. You say something and then it just happens right there. The curse is real, man. The curse is real. Oh, yeah. Oh, Quid looking so good right now. 51% is all that he's taken. A down throw is not enough to actually kill, but with Jay Grunt off stage, oh, it feels like this stock might disappear at any instant. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. He knew. He knew. And that hitbox being so huge, it wouldn't no matter what he did. He would have read it. Um, the one option he could have chosen right there was just lie. Lie and wait. Yeah. And then try to time the get up to dodge the up air. Um, when you're facing an opponent who can cover all get up options by uh, throwing out a move like that, sometimes that is the right call. It's counterintuitive as it might feel. Yeah, well, I want to point out that Quinn has been so oh, beautiful run up on Smash. Quinn has been playing very, very patient. In the sense that, like, he's just reacting to what to what Grant is doing, but I want to point out that Quid is just forcing him. He's locking him into those options. Ooh, look at him. He's trying to throw out all of these hitboxes, all this pressure, but Jay Grunt just abusing the invincibility to not deal with any of it. I like the up B from Quid. That move does a lot of damage. And it's very quick, deceptively big also. Squirtle, a B, it's hilarious, man. It's so powerful for no reason. Yeet! <gasps> it's Ooh. so powerful for no reason. Oh, okay. Alright, water gun in the shadow sneak. Okay. <gasps> what a dick! Quid. Oh Quid, no, is Quid dead? Oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, this is just. The what a scramble! Have, the past 10 seconds have been off stage. This is no longer a Pokemon PS2 stage. Oh, that's so good. He went for the up version of it just to give him more height and uh, flexibility in the recovery. And now he's at 179 and surviving. And this is against Ivysaur, a character who does not struggle to kill. Yeah, but keep in mind, 179 is also max rage. That doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> But he did such a good job of stalling his recovery. The dude was on the left side of the field for like 30 seconds. Left. Oh, he got that down to one the up smash and the fact that it whipped. I really hurt him already. 25% quids managed to deal as extra credit. And oh, that's the second time he's gotten the down tilt and the follow up just was not there. It's also really hard for Jake Hunt because Quid is not over committing to bless Quid is not over committing to anything right now. He's just not. He's not even, he's just not with it. Wow. Like he's actually, like, his spacing is actually phenomenal. <laughs> I think he also did the slow razor leap there specifically to, you know, hang out as much as it could and react on the hit confirm. And now, what percent did he die at? It was, it was like 70, 80. I mean, that's just, that's what you have to expect when you're up against Ivysaur when he's trapped you to the ledge. But to be honest, I don't even know what, like, I don't even know how, like, what Jay Grant could do differently. I mean, I, I, I feel like he... Quid was just such um, in, so in control of the match that I'm at a loss. I'm not saying he I, can't. You know what I'm I would say? Like, I'm personally at a loss. Like, I'm like, unconventional how can you movement that You'll notice that, like, Quid's spacing is so good. Even with Squirtle, the positions that he's putting himself in. Oh, so maybe perhaps being a little bit more unpredictable might be the uh, the key to opening Quid up in unusual ways. 
typical Squirtle combo. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here goes. Fifty percent. Okay, fifty nine. Like I actually, yeah. You know, I I didn't see him use uh, the Shuriken that many times. Just to at least like you know force him to shield and the condition like you know for for a grab or like. You know, like well, I think does Shuriken lose to Razor Leaf? I I don't play either of these characters. I would not know. Well, it, it might be, and then against Squirtle, like Shuriken, Water Shuriken is, I mean, it's so tiny to begin with that if you do the aerial version, like, it's not even going to hit him. Ooh. He knew. It's not even that he knew. Just think about every option he covered right there. Was there a way out? Uh, he could have He could have rolled to the right, and it actually would have, like, No, him. I thought that's what he did. No, nah, he, he, I mean, he, just, he just got up and I don't know, man. That looked like Quinn had paced, placed himself perfectly to the point where he could have reacted. It was, a, it, was, it, was, it was definitely an amazing punish. But, you know, uh, Jake went kind of... Oh, my God. Quick. The guy has a family. Stop. <laughs> but See, okay, this, is so why, this is why I don't bring my family members to <laughs> <my> tournaments. Because <laughs> I know that I'm going to fight Quinn and they're going to have to watch this happen to me. I'm putting on the pressure right now. Oh, oh. Get under the platform and rise with those uppers. Alright, cool. I like the I like the attempt. I like the attempt. Getting kind of creative. I really like that down air actually just to stall him a little bit. <laughs> Even with that little kick of an F tilt, it's not enough. Quid continuing to survive, continuing to rack up more damage, but really good right there. Down tilt to forward air. Finally getting that down tilt confirmed. It felt like Quid had been avoiding most of those throughout this set. Now he has to take advantage of the fact that Quid is his Charizard right now, and Greninja can just let so Because once Greninja, once Quid switches back to his Ivysaur or Squirtle, it's going to make it much more difficult. Right, Quid running up. Oh, no. Jake not coming up, just getting shielded. Now, I've, I've talked to people. Is that it? Wow. Harry to All right. F Smash. Just convincing wow. for Quid. Now, I was talking to some people, and apparently, Pokemon Quid's reaction time is absurd. He's one of those did youngins. Did you do the little testing where you like press the, 